Hey guys, today on JD Cars, we're gonna be installing these 18 inch Jeep rims and 32 inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires on Christian's 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Oh yeah, we're also adding on some two inch wheel spacers, so we'll see how this works out. We got all four wheels and tires off now, as you can see, stock wheels. These tires are quite worn out, as you can see, so definitely a good thing we're throwing on these badass Dura tracks for the winter. Christian's currently on the other side with a bottle of PV Blaster and a wire brush. We uh, scraped off most of the rust that we can and lubricated the surface with some PB Blaster. So now we're gonna get to installing the two inch wheel spacers. So we'll be using the new included lug nuts inside of the spacer here to secure the spacer to the hub because the old ones are too large and they do not fit inside the spacer as you can see compared to the new ones. All right, so we're gonna install our spacer here and our new lug nuts and throw them on of course and then tighten them down. All right, so when installing wheel spacers and wheels, there is a special torque sequence. We're gonna to torque down the spacer to 120 on this specific vehicle. Then we're gonna install the wheel, torque it down to 110, and then we'll retorque to 120 foot-pounds. All right, so this rear spacer is installed and I just double-checked the torque on it. Christian's getting the front spacer installed and we're about to put on the new wheels and tires, so see how this bad boy looks. Alrighty, we got all four wheels and tires on. <laughs> this thing is looking sweet. As you can see from the side here, the tires have some serious poke and the car isn't even down on the ground yet. Once it's down on the ground, the suspension is gonna swing out a bit here. So, really excited to see this thing down on the ground. Happy with the fitment so far. We tried turning the tires and it did clear, so we'll see if it continues to clear once we have this on the ground and the suspension's compressed, but see what happens. All right, we got this bad boy outside. As you can see, this thing has mad poke on the sides. Same thing in the rear. Looks absolutely badass, as you can see. Loving the fitment of these wheels. Well guys, I'm sorry I couldn't get more drone shots. My Mavic Pro decided to send it right into a tree branch. 
So <laughs> we broke a couple props, um, not a big deal. It's probably like 20 bucks for a new set. Hopefully the shots I got with the camera are adequate. I can tell you for a fact that this thing looks like an absolute beast now. Fitment of these two inch spacers, new wheels and tires came out fantastic. Christian said he's very happy with the fitment and I totally agree. I think it came out great. Totally changes the look of the vehicle. As you can see, Christian also added these machined American flag emblems. Look pretty sweet, but yeah. Christian and I have both driven the car. I'm not sure what Christian's thoughts are, but I don't think it's made a dramatic difference in how the car feels. I definitely don't think it's decreased the performance of the car, and I don't think it's suffered any losses. If anything, it's improved how the car drives. Definitely soaks up the bumps really well, feels really planted because of the spacers, and the turning radius really hasn't suffered any increase all around. I think this was a great upgrade and it looks awesome. So that's gonna wrap up this video. If you wanna see any other WK2 videos, be sure to leave suggestions in the comments below. I am working on getting some parts for the Battleship Gray Wrangler, hoping to do some headlights on that car soon. I'm not sure when this video will be up, but I'll keep you guys updated on the sale of the BMW. And other than that, please leave a like below, subscribe if you've yet to do so, and I'll see you guys next time on JD Cars. <laughs>